Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying a split wing Patty Francis. It's basically a variation from an original Patty Francis, but with a split wing on top. This pattern will actually sit a lot different on a swing than a normal Patty Francis, and sometimes that's all you need to make all the difference in your fishing day. So without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, guys, today for our um, split wing Patty Francis, we're going to be using a number eight Partridge D4AF. It's a bit of a non traditional hook for this pattern. Um, usually it's done on a uh, Mustad R745, I believe. And I usually don't tie these in number eights either. Um, I do like these in a number 10 and 12 but you can't beat the gap on the D4AF. Um, that gape is like, it, it's gorgeous. I love it. <clears throat> and I've been using this hook as of the last couple of years for this pattern. So we're gonna start off using a white uh, UTC 70. Normally I wouldn't use UTC 70 for spinning hair, but uh, the fur we're gonna be using today to spin is um, reindeer that's dyed aqua and um, it really is not hard to spin and we're not going to be using a lot of big clumps. Uh, so you'll notice I brought the thread wraps to just behind uh, the hook point. Um, maybe a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to put a tail on this thing. I've already taken the liberty of uh, stacking some of this calf tail for this and that's what's in the tail of this fly. So. Just gonna measure up what we need there and I'm gonna cut off all this extra stuff. And we're just gonna make some, a few wraps like that and just push that around the shank so we get some good coverage. Where I tie these on smaller hooks, usually my tails are a bit shorter as well, but I guess this tail is pretty appropriate for this size hook. Figured a number eight would, would have been a little bit easier for you guys to see maybe, but anyway. Uh, I have some aqua colored reindeer. The stuff was pure white and I dyed it. Um, I like using uh, three, there's three different furs that I like using for patties and reindeer and caribou being number one. And I'll also use roe deer in the absence of those. The reasons why I like caribou and reindeer for this is that it's super soft and it doesn't create a lot of bulk around the shank. So also the reason why I don't want to create a lot of bulk around the shank because I like trimming these bodies nice and skinny. For anybody who doesn't know this pattern, this is a meant to be fished as a salmon wet fly, so subsurface on, um, on a drag. And where I'm not floating this, I uh, I use um, the clumps of fur twice, so I'm not worried about getting the thicker uh, fibers in the base for floating purposes. So I'm just kind of holding that extra stuff I just cut off in my fingers and I just push that thread up through and make a couple wraps and then I have a little bit more to wrap on there. Um, anybody who's watched any of my bomber videos you may have seen me like really trying to compress that those clumps into one another. Um, you won't see me do it on this because I do that because I'm trying to get really nice uh, hard bodies for those uh, dry flies and I don't know I, I'm of the impression that they float better like that maybe not but I'm not interested in these floating I am interested in trimming them nice and skinny so I don't want a lot of fur on that hook just enough to cover it up and make a body. So 
So the uh, single wing Patty Francis has been my go-to fl wet fly pretty much um, for the start of the season. You can't miss with it for the first two or three weeks of the season. Now in my personal experience I find that the fish I'm targeting anyway seem to be shied off of a uh, white wing Patty Francis as the season gets uh, closer to mid to the end. But then I'll fish darker ones, non-white wings, so a moose wing patty, and you're back in action. I'm going to leave myself some room up here, so I'm going to just uh, probably stop here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this thread off for two reasons, to get it out of the way while I'm trimming. And uh, also because I'm going to be going with a different color thread for the head of this fly, so it all works out. I'm just going to put something underneath to hold the trimmings and um, for the bodies, bodies of these I don't, uh, my personal preference in the shape is just a straight uh, skinny body. Uh, some people tie them in a uh, cone shape, some people tie them in a cigar shape and I, I really feel like that's it's just all personal preference and uh, this is just how I prefer to do it. I know a lot of people don't tie these as skinny um, as I like them either, but this is just how I enjoy fishing them. Alright, I'm just going to come in with another pair now. Usually I'm uh, twisting my vise around and stuff, but I can't because I'm using manu manual focus on that camera and if I twist this around it's going to go to focus. That's the front, and we're just trying to sneak up here between the deer hair and the or the reindeer hair and the um, calf tail. You can see a little patch towards the back here on the body that I probably could have put on a little bit more um, reindeer fur. It's almost showing through to the thread. That's not terrible. Like I said, there's that one little spot there. I don't know if you guys could have seen that when I was rotating, but uh, it's right about there. And another thing I like to do is I just trim up this down a little bit up here, and that's so my wings can um, lay down a little bit flatter. I don't want them really flared out. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of that trimmings bin. And we're going to come in with a uh, UTC 70 in a black now. The heads on these tend to be a little bit bigger on mine because they just are. And um, I already took the liberty of kind of stacking this up a bit, but I don't want these too straight and paintbrush like, so I just kind of give it a roll in my fingers, and that'll just kind of skew off the uh, tips of these a bit. And I always go for the wing to extend roughly back to mid tail, and that's how I know I got the right length for my wings. So I'm going to tie this in as a single wing to start off with because I find this is probably the easiest way for me to do this. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of these tips up here. And before I do anything else, I'm going to take a little bit of this. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to LePage on this stuff, man. I uh, I was I got the gel and I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. but super sticky and it doesn't penetrate down like a lot on its own through the uh, fibers but I just give it a little bit of a push with my finger 
and this stuff is awesome like it just makes a bulletproof wing all right so this would be a regular patty actually the wing would be a little bit thicker than i would like on a regular patty but it's going to be a split wing it's not the prettiest fly in the world but let me tell you salmon just love this fly all right, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm taking this, I'm gonna start splaying this out until I get equal sides. So I need to rotate my vise to see myself doing that. So I can make sure I get some equal sides on this. I think I'm there now, and basically I am going to keep that split and I'm just running that thread down over my uh, fingernail and then it'll slip right down to where I want it to be. And I'm going to do that a couple of times on this side. Then I'm going to come around and I'm going to change my direction altogether. And I'm just going to pull this wing out now and I'm going to bring it around. So you're basically figure eighting around these to create your split. And that's what it should look like. Um, it's kind of weird. One of these actually look like they're a little bit longer than the other, but I don't know how that happened. Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, there's definitely more bulk on one side too. I should have been a bit more careful when I was splitting these. Uh, but either way, you get the picture. And I'll clean that up now. So I'm just going to tie off. And I am going to come in and try to just clean up some of these stray fibers. Not that it matters. The fish don't care and they probably actually like it. Find the more perfect you try to make your flies, the, uh, the more the fish seem to just shy off of them. So uh, that is a split wing Patty Francis. I haven't really had a lot of um, experience on this aqua color yet, but I'm super stoked about it. If you guys are looking for... Um, any color options uh, that work. Um, there's three that I mainly use, which is uh, natural, um, purple, and blue. And purple and blue are basically my money makers when it comes to fishing. So uh, purple probably being the best in the last year or two. I'm hoping this aqua is going to uh, keep up with those. So, split wing Patty Francis, super easy, super effective, and it just makes that Patty Francis swim a little bit different than a normal single wing. Thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the video yet, I'd really appreciate it. If you are not into that, that's totally cool too. Just glad to have you along. Until I see you next time, take care.